Hi and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. Today we're going to talk about more games that we tried. Each of us tried three games on whatever device. The JXD emulator. Uh huh. And we're all going to talk about it. And Dave is going to start with each one of them. And we're going to give our view on the old NES. And Dave's going to talk about. Well, Tabby was supposed to be NES and Atari 2600, but for some reason everybody picked NES. I wonder why. Let's do Atari 2600 next. Okay, my mom's first selection was Pac Man. Okay, Pac Man was fun. That was the original pattern. There were seven original patterns, I believe, in Pac Man that I had remembered. And once you kind of get the hand of using that device, it's pretty cool. But I don't know if it can hold up to an entire game of Pac Man because once you get past the rent keys and there's wrenches, at least in the arcade, and then the game rolls over and stops all over. But the over question is, reverse. in comparison to when you first played it, is it boring now or is oh, it still fun? It's still fun? just as much fun as always. It's just like a bit of nostalgia. It's when I used to plug into a quarter and play for an entire day. Until oh. they came on the, the handheld and then mm -hmm. I quit losing money. Well, unfortunately, in, in, my, in my case, I, I prefer Pac-Mania instead of the original Pac-Man, so even then, you know, Pac-Man was never my thing, so to me, it's still, yeah. Okay, Joe never played Pac-Man, so as a person, uh, 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 yeah, played it before? Uh, All right, Joe, here, 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 here's, here, here's the question, Joe, then. In comparison to when you first played Pac-Man to now, is it boring, or is it still fun, or is it boring then, it's still boring today? Uh, medium, a little fun, a little bit boring. Okay. But I think two by the goal. So, so man, so it's a minute game to you, huh? Nah. All right. Okay, now next selection was. Well, that's okay. Okay, that wasn't in there. And then I run for that. Okay, next selection was Mappy Land. In all honesty, it's been so long since I played Mappy. I didn't even know there was a Mappy Land. So in my case, it was totally new to me. Hmm. So it's it, it was fun. Long those are. Mappy Land, it was okay, and um, it, it was kind of fun, but I think you need to play it for a while to get used to it. I finally got used to the jumps and how you jumped over everything. I was so confused that I couldn't on. actually jump in So there. I it's think, um, huh? What's, what's and I th feel like it was the last one we played. You know, I found out how oh you jumped God. on the enemy and how then you would use the jumper to jump all the way up to the top, and then you could go back around and go. So that game, it, it, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's kind of like um, Super Mario Brothers. Very right. different. I've never played anything like it before, and even today's games don't don't hold the candle to different Mappy Land. I like it. You can't fall to your death in it, so that's cool. Okay, Joe. Uh, Mappy Land. Mappy Land is a game that my parents bought me for a TV. Connect your TV, of course. That's easier than the ones that play. That one's kind of different. Yeah, the, the map you played was the original Mappy, which was actually a Atari 2600 game. To do yes, Mappy, I that think. one is. You suppose Mappy Land. You suppose uh, mouse of cops on uh, so mouse of us catch out a cat, but suppose on, on the coin first before so before the cat stolen. Uh, after you get that, you supposed to go a harder level, and I remember. So that's in this one says very difficult. Yeah, very difficult. And, and you jump up there, and then you jump up and go yeah. get all the things. He jump on the trampoline and go up there. But the thing is, and then uh, you go on top and jump yep. up to catch the things. Catch before. all the gold before the cat. Right, comes. before they got them, yeah. But you have to stay away from the cat. It's like duck, stay from the bird. So, uh, the, plus the handheld uh, stick, joystick's hard to use on this uh, uh, air. Yeah. It takes a bit of getting used to it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't tighten up the I didn't tighten up the left one on the JXD, so I didn't take it really necessary because so I used like bump sticks. So, okay, yeah. Miss Pac-Man is my mom's last selection. Ah, horrible. I'm sorry. Uh, I like Miss Pac-Man, and it's way more challenging than Pac-Man because you, well, the, uh, the difference between Pac-Man and Mrs. Pac-Man is that you don't chase after the fruit to win. The, the key question is, in comparison to when you first played it to now on the JXT, is it boring or is it no, still fun? No, it's the same. It's the same. I think it, you know, I think the story's also the same. In in my in my opinion, Mrs. Pac Man is actually better than Pac Man because you could actually go down the other tunnels a lot easier, despite the fact that the ghost and everything is sped up. So then so I don't know what, what was tricking that one. Okay. Uh Miss Pac Man Joe? Yeah the Well I, I wanna know is when did they create husband and wife Pac Man? 
Huh? So in the arcades. And yeah, in Pac-Man, the storyline. Well, what's the baby Pac-Man? Okay. There's the Pac-Man Jr. That's Pac-Man Jr. Okay, in Pac-Man, the storyline is there. The storyline really didn't come into being until mm -hmm. Mrs. Pac-Man, and then Mrs. Pac-Man, after you do several boys, Mr. Pac-Man and Mrs. Pac-Man meet. Then they fall in love. Then they get married, and then Pac Man Jr. comes out of, drops down out of Mrs. Pac Man, and you use Pac Man Jr. for the rest of the game. Well, Until Mrs. Pac Man over. again, I'm so sorry. Boo! Boring. Yeah. I'm, some, I'm sorry to you, all the whole fans. You never, you never played Mrs. Pac Man. No, but still, I don't care. Boring. Right, yeah. Okay, in that case, that's my mom's three games Pac Man, Pac Man, Mrs. I mean, Pac Man, Mrs. Pac Man, and Matt B. Lamb's mom's three game selections. Okay, Joe, your first selection is and Galaga. Right? Yep, your first selection was Galaga. Okay, uh, Joe, in comparison of Galaga, now to when you first played Galaga originally, how did you first play Galaga, I guess? In the uh, arcade or on the NES? Well, I lived in China for so long, so I don't play it until I died there. No, when you first played Galaga, when did you first play Galaga? That's what I was about to say. That's when I first played when I was 17. Yeah, but I mean, the format you played Galaga, how did you first play it? Oh, TV. Station. Okay. okay, TV station. Yes, yeah, okay. Like, no, no, okay, now in comparison to Galaga, now, now on the handheld to then? I still prefer back then because that was a lot more easier. Okay. Like, bom, bom, bom. But okay. that I lose. Alright. My Galaga now and then? In your well, opinions? I, when I first started playing Galaga, was me on one side and David on the other side, and we would play Galaga together in the arcades. Mm. And so it was like a mother and a son time. I'd bring a drink and we'd just go at it. And we play at it for a long time, so it was fun because David and I was like mother son bonding, so it was cool. And so after a while, we got so good at it that um, David kind of would play another game. Well, it was my turn because I could make it 10 levels without being killed. And then later on, I found out Galaga was on the home game, so we started playing it together on the home game. And so we're still with the double shift and everything. And so to me, it was still just as good. And it also brought back a lot of wonderful memories David and I had together as a mother and son. So to me, that game's always going to be awesome. I still, I have to admit, I still like Galaga. I still admit, I still like Galaga. Best game in the world. Okay, Joe, your second selection was Dragon Fighter. Do you even remember playing Dragon Fighter? Yes, that's. Fun but difficult, but back then I never played it. This is my first time I ever played it. Okay. Dragon Fighter. In that case, all right, horrible. Okay, my horrible. Dragon Dragon Fighter. I don't like it. Okay, I have to admit, I actually figured out how to play Dragon Fighter, so actually I did have fun playing it. Not me. The background I thought you could actually use, and you can't, and it was all direct. it was all just graphics and nothing. You and the dragon can jump like a fight like a ninja turtle. Pew pew. <laughs> what the heck? That dragons will fly, not jump like a ninja turtle. Okay, Joe's. <laughs> okay, Joe's last selection was Darkwing Duck, and I have to unfortunately admit it. I did have the NES, and I was aware of the Darkwing Duck game. But the problem is that the time that the licensed games on the NES had such a bad rep that I didn't actually get Darkwing Duck because the show was just so bad. I didn't actually want to join the show, so I didn't play Darkwing Duck on the original NES. But I have to admit, it's actually a good game. It's actually a very good game, in my opinion. Alright, Alright, Ian Pan. I have to get one percent. Just one tire half a star for that game. <laughs> then that duck won't do what I need to do, so I just get to trash and kick him. I don't like it. I like Darkwing Duck. I think it was cool and it reminded Dave and I used to watch Darkwing Duck together. Over. Okay, Darkwing Duck, um, I kinda gotta admit I kinda liked the character the graphics on it was good for its age. It looked like the TV character, and Dave and I enjoyed Wallow and Darkwing Duck together. It takes a bit to get used to the character. It's kind of hard to get used to, but once you get used to it a little better, and you you use the joystick and don't use the D-pad, I found that was easier. So I kind of liked it. It's okay, you know. Okay, my now for my three selections, I picked the ten again. Gauntlet of the NES was my mm -hmm. first selection, and I have to admit, is back then, yeah, I did enjoy Gauntlet, but now it's just like, mm, it's just like okay, it's Gauntlet. <laughs> so it's kind of, it's definitely lost some nostalgia value, in my opinion. 
All right, Joe, ten, the 10 game gauntlet version. Isn't that one the ghost one? Yeah, the one with all the oh, ghosts. Oh, sheesh. I had fun with that one. I actually never game person, but I have to say that's the second game. Gallic is still my first, but that's the second one. Um, of course, level three, too much ghost attacking. But about to go to the fourth, but ghost attacking. I'm dead. So that's my second best. Mom, ten, the 10 game ver version of Gauntlet for the NES. I liked Gauntlet, it was fun, there was a lot of fighting and action in it that wasn't boring, mm -hmm. but it wasn't as good as I'll buy that for a dollar. Smash TV. Oh, that was better. Yeah. That was a different unit, but that that little game was good. It's okay. Okay. Yep. I'll have to check that. Okay. Alright, my second selection was boxing on the Atari 2600 just to have their Atari 2600 game. I admit it, I still enjoy it and I still occasionally actually pull that out on the JXD, so any lost little value with me. Mom the boxing Atari 2600. Boring! Oh, yes. Okay, Joe completely bowed out on the boxing on the Atari 2600, what? so you can't give any. Boring boxing! Still boring! You're a white guy, all you do is this, and then a black guy, all you do is this. And you're just sitting there, the dudes are just doing this. Whoa! Hey, people, did he just say I can't talk? Watch this. I won't talk with the show. I won't make the show. Okay, he said yes. He said tell me yes. So boring. No, you turn. Okay. Oh, that's called Joe the Force now, okay? So, try down your parent. Wait, actually, don't try down your parent. They might just. Boom! <laughs> Okay, now my last selection was <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is pretty much the king of the nostalgia game, Super Mario Bros. NES. Hmm. Yeah, it ain't really lost any any real value. Even I mean, the game is so timeless is that it's, it's on other NES platforms, and even having fan remakes of it, and even bait, having inspiration for other games. So yeah, it's pretty much the gold standard on classics in my opinion, and that's just not me, that's countless video game reviewers. Okay, mom. Awesome, 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 awesome. I never get tired of playing it. I played two levels, Bros. or three levels, yes. and then I said, oh, I gotta stop because I'd be totally hogging it all the way to the end. And I, it's just a game. I remember when I first bought David the NES for Christmas, that was one of the first the games. The included game with the he bought it that I came with it, and when David opened his NES and he was so little and cute, Zapper, he kissed, he kissed the two NES. controllers, he kissed, and the combo Duck Hunt and Super Mario Bros. Back then, if you can believe it, the NES was over three hundred dollars. It was a lot of money. So, um, this is got the entertainment system version, and so I got not it. Not just the core unit. And so then David and I played it together, and we just have many hours of mother and son enjoyment on it. That and the Atari 2600 was the first two units I bought for him. So the Super Mario Brothers, David and I played, I don't know how many times, and we just enjoyed it. And so I'm not tired of it, and it gives me great memories of when David was young. All right, Joe. I have to say, Super Hall. Mario. Uh, well, not Hen Hall. Hen Hall means very good. I have to get medium, so Hall. Hall um, is good enough, but. But I had to call third the best because I'm losing all the time, so that's why. <laughs> <laughs> and I wonder if that hurt when he bought his head to the brick. <laughs> well, if you actually look at it, he actually puts his fist up over his head. Oh, okay, that's okay. Uh-uh, that's your hurt. It's amazing how I could remember where everything was yes. in that game. <laughs> well, I mean, I never played any of those. We got left orphan for so long in China, so. This actually the lot of games Brother David ever since I into their family having fun. They showed me a lot of cool game I never played for. So yeah. Mm, for those who don't have that yet, get some of the old sit and have some fun. Maybe you should bring you some memory too, just like mama said and brother said. So Okay, so there we have it. Oh I wanna see, I wanna see. What's it? Let's see sparkle. The fun's never end at Sea Sparkles Corner, and uh, please always subscribe if you like it. And take your favorite retro video game and push it into that like button. Yeah, Don't do it too hard. Sure. You might scare that like button away. And as always, like Joe here said, what did uh, Joe here say? Well, happy family. Feel free to share. Ah. We love you. We appreciate all of our viewers and all of our subscribers. Hugs and kisses from Sea Sparkles ah. Corner to you. Thank you for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye.